I'm a professor of medicine and a rheumatologist at Western University in London, Ontario, Canada. And at St. Joe's Healthcare, where I'm situated with our rheumatology group, we have a scleroderma clinic. And we really believe in bench to bedside research. So we collect samples, whether it's skin biopsies or uh, blood or serum samples, for other people to use in their labs. I'm a clinical researcher, so I'm an epidemiologist. So that's looking at um, disease manifestations, uh, altering the natural history, outcome measurements and designing trials and other things. So we have our own uh, clinic. We have um, both research, education are integrated with good patient care. We hope excellent patient care. Way back in medical school, I didn't really know anything about rheumatology and I certainly didn't know much at all about scleroderma either. So part of why I chose rheumatology was there were role models where um, the, the patients and the doctors I felt worked as a team. That I didn't feel that was always the case when I trained in some of the other specialties or subspecialties. I also thought that the physical exam findings and the immunology were really interesting but I also really like the long-term relationship and the ability to offer treatment and give hope and to see people as they evolve because some things do get better or people adapt as well. When I started in my practice and um, publishing in systemic sclerosis, scleroderma, there were hardly any randomized controlled trials. Now we've done better than say, as a for instance, a comparison would be pulmonary arterial hypertension, which is about one in six people with scleroderma have that. It used to be consistently you got the diagnosis, there wasn't much we did for you and people would succumb to it. Now the survival has, the improved survival, has doubled about three times just while I've been in practice. So there's a message of hope there. We can still do better, there's still research, but we're doing a lot better than we did. And that's thanks to investment of uh, patients becoming participants in studies, the family supporting them along that journey, as well as uh, researchers and really the pharmaceutical partners and the uh, peer-reviewed partners for getting money to crack this disease. And try to participate if you can or be supportive if you can of research because I always say to people, we'll be no better than today if research stops. So we really need it.